This conference will now be recorded. Uh, hi guys, uh, uh, I'm going to discuss about SSPI error when we make a connection to SQL Server. Uh, this is generic error we usually see in, in untrusted domains basically. Uh, when the connection is not trusted uh, or uh, SPN is not properly registered, uh, the SSPI errors usually generate like this. Like uh, if I'm trying to make a connection to a VM, uh, if I'm trying to make a connection from VM03 to VM04, it will throw the SSPI error. I was checking it. So let's see how we can rectify this issue when it comes. So if I'm trying to hit this, I'm getting the target principal name is incorrect cannot generate the ssp context so uh, if you try to take this error into notepad copy the message and uh, just read out what exactly it is trying to point out the same error what we are seeing here the target principal name is incorrect cannot generate ssp the principal is correct in fact how do i say this uh, db technos ravinder uh, trying to make the connection from uh, SQL VM03 to VM04. If I'm trying to make a connection to the SQL Server within it, within it, the same account. So it will, it is correcting. But when I'm trying to make a connection remotely using the same account, I'm getting the SSPI error. Okay. So to check this out, first we need to check the SPN is correctly registered or not with the service account. To check the SPN is properly registered. With our service account this is a command you have to use it set spn hyphen l uh, this is your domain where your server is part of uh, this is your sql server service account whatever the service account you're using is sql service account use that set spn hyphen l and domain and the service account now i'm trying to verify the spn is properly registered or not if i try to hit this let's see what it says so registered service principal name it looks good you know the the cn name and the, you know the domain what it is seeing you know the dbtechnos.com spn looks good uh, sometimes updating the spn can resolve this issue so let me try to update if it can resolve so <clears throat> i'm trying to update set spn ifnd this is ms sql spc this is the syntax you have to use it uh, your server name and your domain, the complete domain, and the port the SQL is listening on, and the server name at the end. So this is a format to update the SPN. So I'm hitting this command on the server to update the SPN. Whatever the SPN we have it, I'm just updating it, uh, just thinking that it is going to resolve our issue. But let's see how it is really going to help us. Sometimes this can resolve our issue, but not all the times. So if I hit it, uh it is unregistered and updated the our S spn okay so this should resolve sometimes so if i try to hit this one it's still not resolved it's still not resolved with the sspi context so to see the actual error i'm going to go use active directory password uh, this option will be available with the latest sms active directory password uh, if you are using sql sms to the 16 below i guess you don't find this option so better to use the latest sql sms version so what i'm going to do i'm going to give the entire uh, account manually db techno slash ravinder and i'm giving the password of that account if i'm trying to hit this account as it is not going through the token we are passing the credentials directly to the sql server to validate and make the connection what it is saying connection established successfully with the server but an error occurred during the login process the certificate chain was issued by authority that is not trusted so it is talking about certificate so then i'm going to change this one windows account i'm changing the connection type to the trust server certificate if i use this option once if i make a connection to the sql server it will connect and if I uncheck also, there onwards it will connect. It will connect. There onwards you don't have to use. Once you have to use this option and make the connection, there onwards without that certificate it will connect. The same way if I'm trying to connect from the SQL VM04 to VM03, this also has a similar issue. In fact, similar issue from this VM to that VM, uh, SSPA context issue, and this also let's do the same thing. See here, 
the same thing is coming up if i go and make a connection with the trust server certificate uh, not only from this node if i'm trying to make a connection to vm04 to vm03 it is not connecting it's not just between these two nodes only if i'm trying to make from the linux01 if i'm trying to connect to the v linux sql vm03 it won't connect the issue is same okay but what i'm going to do i'm going to do the same thing what i did with the linux04 trust the server certificate click it connect it's still not connecting then if it is not connecting let's see with the password what it says so db technos slash ravinder and the password i'm going to update the password here so what it says in fact the same thing server certificate issued by the authority that is not trusted so we're going to oh i use the wrong option in fact so encrypt uh, trust server certificate if i hit this login failed for the user okay so i'm going to go and connect directly it's still using it so what i'm going to do i'm going to update the spn here also and let's see if that resolves because this this error involves many different things in fact it, it, there is no uh, one solution that can resolve this issue sometimes spn updating the spn itself will resolve the issue okay sometimes just making a server certificate we have seen that it resolved in this case it is not resolving so i'm trying to update the spn again on this machine also and try to make a connection let's see what can resolve our issue here so this is where we had the issue right linux 03 so i'm going to update the spn on this machine it is updated now let's see the connection i'm trying to hit with the without the trusted connect certificate uh, without the trust server certificate with server service, server certificate see it is connected so updating the spn and checking the trust server certificate is resolved in my case i don't have to use that anymore once you have to use it and then it will trust the connection here onwards that's it you can connect from any other machine it was not connecting before now it will connect uh, though i don't have to use the trust, trust server certificate it will start connecting from here onwards the issue will be resolved so at least i need to make one time connection here trust server certificate okay and disconnect and then when you are reconnecting again you don't have to use this it will connect so use this method maybe it might help you some way uh, updating the spn and uh, using the trust server certificate it is helped i uh, uh, we were seeing in two machines in fact right so just use the method uh, if it helps you in your case also thanks and uh, please subscribe my channel uh, db technos uh, I, I have i'm going to upload more technical videos there please check out for further technical videos thank you